Okay, we found our cozy spot in the grass. Let's read our next story. Next, we are going to read Plants Can't Sit Still by Rebecca E. Hirsch, illustrations by Mia Posada. Plants Can't Sit Still. Plants don't have feet or fins or wings, yet they can move in many ways. Look closely and you'll discover that plants can't sit still. Plants can wiggle. As seedlings start to grow, they squirm out of spring soil, unfold their leaves and reach for the warmth and the light. Plants can creep. They slither underground or crawl through tall grass, searching for things that, tall plant, that all plants need. Water, sunshine, and room to grow. As they search, plants can climb a fence or walk up a wall. How? I don't know. How do you think? I don't know. Because they're growing. Yeah, because they're growing. Plants can hide from a hungry grasshopper or surprise a fly with a snap. Some plants sleep at night, leaves nodding, flowers folding. Others wake with the stars and lift their faces to the moon. Do you see the animal? Do you see the animal? There it is. Do you see the little mouse? Plants can tumble on a breeze. Whoosh! As they bounce along, seeds sprinkle out. Plants even explode. They fling their seeds into the world to make new plants. A seed is a plant built for travel. Seeds can whirl like helicopters or float on parachutes or glide on papery wings, but they can't sit still. A bear! A bear! Seeds hitchhike on a, a sock. A whoop! It's not a whoop, it's a fox, or on a fox's bushy tail. They take a ride and inside a bear. a bear. That's right. Seed set sail, sploosh, down the river, past swaying trees, into the wide ocean, drifting, waiting for what all plants need, water, sunshine, and room to grow. When the seed finds a spot, the seedling squirms out. It unfolds its leaves. It reaches for the warmth and the light, and it keeps on moving because plants can't sit still. They can. You think they can? Look, this has more about plants. Plants share our world, but you might be surprised at all they can do. Now this is where I think you should get your own copy of this book because it has even more information about plants, especially those plants that move around a lot, like sunflowers, morning glory, and the Venus flytrap. Those are some of the most interesting. I've put a link below this video of where you can buy your own copy. I hope you loved today's story as much as I did. Remember, if you want to see more of these videos, make sure that you hit subscribe so that you can find the rest of the videos in the series. Have a great day.